All right, this is gonna be a quick video showing my uh, Scantronic SC800. Dialing out and reporting to two separate central station receivers. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and arm the system instant. And it's gonna turn on the armed relay and pick up the phone line. And we dial two receivers over here. So first it dials the Radionic 6500, which it is reporting to right now. That was the second receiver that Radionics made. So you'll see it. Alarm zone C1. Now it says alarm, but really that's because it's a four plus two code. C1 is indicating closing on user one. The second receiver it reports to is up here, the D6000, which was the first uh, alarm receiver that Radionics made, to my knowledge. I can't find anything earlier than that, and there's almost no information on this one. Um, but it only reports alarms and restorals and cancels to the D6000. So it sent the closing to the 6500, but nothing to the 6000. Now we're gonna go ahead and set it off. Now, something interesting about this panel is it dials telephone numbers like 10 digits a second. So it actually reaches the receiver within like two seconds of it picking up the phone line. So when I set it off here, you'll hear the alarm relay click, and then I'm going to go pan over to that receiver very fast so you can tell how quick it actually reaches it. So here we go. It's already ringing it. <laughs> it's impressively fast. So right now we're sending alarm zone 1-1 one, one in 4 plus 2, 20 pulses a second, to the 6500. You'll see that in the top right of the display when it comes through. Then it's going to dial the D6000, but it's going to report in 20 pulses per second, uh, 3 plus 1 extended. Let's see, 1-1 one, one is the code it sent. Now it's going to dial the 6000. The issue here is the 6000 isn't going to actually combine these into a one-line report because... It's not expecting a non-hexadecimal event code to get an expanded digit. So you're not supposed to really send an expanded digit when it's reporting a one. So this is actually gonna come out as two lines, but it still, it still works and it still gets through. So you watch the display and you'll see it shows uh, account 001, alarm zone one, and then account 111, alarm zone one. That's because it's not extending it properly. Now we're already reporting to the 6500 again, where we're sending the restore report. And since the restore report uses a hex character for the event code, which is E, um, it will come through correctly on the D6000 as account 001, restoral zone one. Already reported, sent an E1, and now, That's 001E. And unfortunately, the software revision of this panel that I have doesn't support parity, otherwise I'd be using it. And that's EEE1 -E -E for, you know, expanding it with a digit one to indicate zone one restored. Let's see that come through. Count 001, restore all zone 1. So yeah, that's the panel reporting to two receivers. So let's go ahead and disarm it now. It's dialing out. And yeah, zone 1 alarm, bedroom door. And it's cleared. And that little keypad flicker thing that it does every like second, that is happening in real life. That's because it's checking for a battery, which clearly there's no battery present. So it actually cuts its own AC power very intermittently and checks if the voltage is staying the same on the battery, which it's dropping because there's no battery, so it goes back. And most panels do this, but the Scantronic, it's really just really noticeable because it doesn't have a super big capacitor for filtering and it does the check every like second. So you'll actually notice See how it flickers on the keypad, but not on the radio LED? 
That's because the ready LED is more filtered. The keypad backlight is powered directly off the 12 volt. The 5 volt is what's powering that little LED. So, yeah, that's the Scantronic panel reporting the two receivers. It's a neat little panel, and I'm going to be demonstrating some stuff with it soon. That's why it's set up. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show that.